Hey everybody, it's Andrew, this is Friendly Fitness. Let's get totally shredded. Before we do that though, I know what you're thinking. What's with that sweet shirt you're wearing, Andrew? Oh, didn't notice. This shirt is the shirt of Mood Moss Flowers. My good friend Eric, first ever, first ever personal training client, one of my most loyal dudes. This is his business. He's been running his shop for 16 years as of just a few days ago. So I was thinking, 16? Let's do 16 minutes of exercise. He's got a sweet physique, and he's a nice guy, and he's got a sweet shop. So he inspired me to do this workout. I hope you like it. The thing is, yeah, we're doing a lot of core, but I was thinking, Eric's got some really nice shoulders and a pretty well-developed chest. We should probably throw in some of that too. So that's what we're going to do. Every four minutes, we're going to do 16 push-ups and then hold a plank for the rest of the time. I got a timer. All you have to do is follow my emotions, but we got, not emotions, don't follow my emotions, that's a dangerous track. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna do 16 exercises, each one's a minute long, but remember, every four minutes we got that cool combo, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is the double crunch with a slight hold at the top. So I'm gonna be lying down like so, oh, the sun's coming out, I got my arms, my legs out, I'm gonna curl up into a ball and hold it for a split second, and then come back out. You can do whatever range of motion works for you, but that's gonna happen for a solid minute, okay? Take breathers anytime you want. I'm gonna start my timer. This workout officially begins in seven seconds. So hang on tight, guys. This is gonna be a good time. Here we go. Whole minute of the double crunch with that pause starts now. There's the pause, back out we go. Whew. If you want that challenge, try not to let your heels touch the floor. But we gotta get those arms, those legs way out. And look at my tailbone. I'm kind of bringing it up a little bit just to get those lower core muscles working, getting that body up. Whoa, there's the sun. Okay, I'm okay with this. And if you want, you can always rest those feet on the floor. Every rep, it's up to you. A minute is a long time to commit to a single exercise. Sometimes that exercise just doesn't really feel good for whatever reason. If you ever want an option, just go for it. But we're trying to commit to this for a solid minute. Get the sweet tan while we're at it too, if you're doing this outside like I am. Almost time for that next exercise. I have a feeling we're gonna be doing the heel reach. So right now I'm still training my central core muscles, but in just a few moments, I'm gonna bring in the obliques. I think that was the timer. Oh, it sure was. So, <laughs> it's a very small sound. I got my heels on the floor and now, I'm just reaching for my heels, one at a time. Oof. Yeah, I'm still working my central core, but my heels are doing a lot of work. My obliques are doing a lot of work this time because I'm moving my core from side to side. The more I keep my body up off the mat, the more challenging it is. But if you want to just stay a little bit closer to the mat, that's fine. But I'm not lying down, and I'm not just going from side to side. I'm trying to get my shoulder blades off the mat. Oof. So sticking with it, 16 minutes is a long time for core. Those push-ups might feel like a break, actually. We'll see how that goes. <sighs> Staying with it, <laughs> I'm getting sweaty already. I'll just blame the sun. <sighs> Making it happen, waiting for that nice quiet beep to happen to tell me it's time to move on. There it is. So we're gonna go into a high plank this time. And from that high plank, we're gonna do a walkout with the hands. So. I've got my hands right under my shoulders. Walk those hands forward, four steps, and then bring them back. While we do this, try not to let the hips move around too much. So the more still you keep those hips, the more work the core has to do. A solid option for this one is just to put the knees on the floor, and you can walk it out just once, and then walk it back just once. It's up to you. But, you know, in the last few seconds of this, if you want to try going up onto the toes and walking it out, or if you want to try walking it out four steps with the hands, totally cool. Because the further away those hands are, the more challenging it is on the core. Whew. We got 10 seconds until we begin our first round of the push-ups plank combo. Here it comes. Okay. Let's see those 16 push-ups. So do your best to keep that nice straight line through the hips. 16 is a lot. You can do these on the toes if you want. Whew. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to hold a plank for the rest of the time. Remember when you do those push-ups, we want to avoid having the hips up like this. We're not bringing the face into the mat, we're bringing the chest down to the mat. So do your best to make that happen, but for the next 22 seconds, if you're done those push-ups, oh my gosh, we're planking. So try to keep that nice straight line through the body. We're gonna roll over in about 12 seconds and do some sprinter sit-ups. Here we go, five seconds. Okay, over we go. So the sprints are sit up, making some obliques happen again. So I'm lying down, my right arm, just aim for the left foot and then bring it right back. Now I'm gonna aim for the opposite side. That twist of the torso is key because I'm really trying to train not just my upper and lower abs, but the sides, my obliques. That twist makes it happen. So take your time on the way down. You don't have to bring the torso way up. You don't have to touch the toe. Just aim for it if you want. And if that's not feeling good, just keep your shoulder blades on the floor and aim for that opposite foot, Oof, like so. Dude, I gotta wear some sunglasses next time. Oh my gosh. People will think I'm the coolest personal trainer ever wearing my sunglasses while taking care of business. Oof. Somebody else did that though. His name was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the movie was The Terminator, but we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna do the, oh my gosh, the toe reach. This one's pretty tough. So I'm lying down. I got my legs up right in the sun. I can't see them, but aim for the toes and come on back. <sighs> Try to keep your legs straight, right above your hips. You can bend the knees a little bit if you want and just reach up past them. But this is a tough exercise for the upper core feel it nice and slow on the way back. If it's not feeling good having those feet up, just put them on the floor. Just aim for the knees like so. Whew. I don't even know if I'll be able to read the name of the exercise. My, that sun is so bright. Speaking of suns that are so bright, my parents have them. <laughs> it's me. But anyways, just making this toe reach happen. I have to take a split second break in between each rep. Oh, just because it's so taxing on the upper core. Ooh. Okay, time for the next exercise. What is it? I'll get better at memorizing all this, don't you worry. High plank walkout with the feet this time. So I'm back in that high plank position. And this time, I'm going to walk my feet out to one side, then the other. Oops, I reached right off the deck. I got long legs. That's okay. We want to keep the hips as still as possible. Whew. Okay. We can do this. We got about 30 seconds left until our next push-up challenge. Whew. Don't worry guys, I'm having a really hard time here too. It's a nice combination of the sun, me being kind of nervous in front of you guys, and of course the workout. Whew. Actually, it's totally the workout. This is legit. 12 more seconds until those push-ups. My shoulder muscles are already getting a bit toasty just from being in this position. But here it comes. Three, two, one, push-ups. Okay, let's see what you got, guys. 16 of them at your own pace. You can do them on the knees or the toes. Four more for me. When you're done those 16 push-ups, if you're feeling it, try to hold that plank. You can use this time as recovery also. So it's really up to you. Do your best not to point the hips up. If you do plank, keep a nice straight line through the body. Oof. We're getting there, guys. We'll be rolling onto our backs in just a moment. 12 more seconds. Oof. Here we go. Five more, three, two, one, rolling over. Okay, we're gonna do a single leg knee tuck. So I'm lying down. The static crunch means shoulder blades are up off the floor, not like all the way, just do your best. And then one leg at a time, we're bringing it way in, and then the other, boom. Now we have lots of options for this one. You can keep both feet on the floor and bring one foot in, heel back on the floor, then the other foot. 
you can try keeping your feet up the whole time. It's a little bit more challenging if you put both your feet away, then bring it back in one at a time. If you wish, bring one in as you put the other one away. It's up to you. Try to keep your lower back pressed into the mat. You can put your hands on the floor if you want or leave them up. Just explore it. Whichever one works best for you, do it. As long as you're challenging yourself, I'm happy. Dude, Eric, I wish this was like the five year anniversary of your shop. Anyway, <laughs> reverse crunch. I'm gonna put my hands on the floor. I'm just lying back, knees nice and close to the chest and back out. You can rest the feet on the floor after every rep if you wish, or just keep them up. This is a little bit more of a gentle exercise, but I can keep the tempo up a bit higher. So I'm trying not to put my feet on the floor, but I'm trying to get that big range of motion. Oof. Taking those breathers, get a sip of water anytime you want. We've got one more exercise after this, and then we move on to the push-up plank combo. Whew. I'm struggling to keep my lower back pressed into the mat. I'm getting tired, but I think that's a good sign. Oof. It means it's working. Okay, almost time. I'm gonna check that next exercise real quick. You keep going. Next exercise. Oh baby, the plank with the hip dip. So this one's kind of unfair because I'm already gonna tire up my planking muscles. But from here, I'm getting my hips down to one side, then the other. Do this at whatever pace works for you. If you got music playing, do it to the rhythm, right? You can do this on the knees as well. The range of motion will be a little bit less, but remember, we don't want the hips way up here like this. We wanna keep a straight line from the knee to the chest through those hips. So I'm gonna try it with my toes up. In 30 seconds, we're gonna do some push-ups. Oh, I'm breathing a bit louder than I thought I would. That's why I bought the nice expensive mic, right? So you could hear that. <laughs> oh man, eight more seconds. Uh, here comes the push-ups. Let's do it. Whew, 16. Okay, take that breather, shake it out, get a sip of water. But we gotta do 16 push-ups in this minute. Almost. Whew. Okay. Three sets of push-ups down. One to go. It's not happening soon. It is happening kind of soon. But that's okay. Let's hold that plank if we can. Whew. It's tempting to keep the hips up. Try not to. So we got some flutter kicks coming up next. And then some sitting bicycles. I find the sitting bicycles more challenging than the regular ones. But that's just me. We'll talk about that later though. Here it comes. Flutter kicks start now. Okay, so I'm lying down. Try to keep that lower back pressed into the floor. We want to keep the legs as straight as we can. And we're just moving them up and down like so. There, I'll keep it in the frame. Whew. The closer these feet are to the floor, the more challenging it is and the more that lower back is gonna to wanna to come off the mat. So find that place whew, where you can keep that lower back pressed into the mat. But if you want, bend those knees. Makes it a little bit more challenging. And if you wish, you can be up on the elbows like so. It's really up to you, whew, but just try it out. Do your best to keep the legs nice and straight. Oh man, what have I done? This is challenging. Oh baby, how much time we got? Oh, we got 13 seconds, no problem. I sure hope I press the record button. Oh man. Okay, here comes the next exercise. Woo! Yes! What is it? I forgot, I'm so exhausted. The sitting bicycle, right, we talked about that already. So I'm leaning back, this is my sitting position, and then elbow to opposite knee, elbow to opposite knee. So the more I lean back, the more challenging this is on the core. You can sit pretty upright. You'll find it's a bit more gentle, but by leaning back, 
the core is in a constant state of getting totally shredded, of engagement, whatever you want to call it. Whew. Here we go. After this, I think we're doing something a little bit unexpected. Try to keep that rotation of that torso going on. It's easy to get lazy and not do the big turn. Oh man. Almost time. Yes, okay. We're gonna hold a plank for a minute. That's right. We're gonna tire out these plank muscles. We have less than two minutes of hard work left, everybody. Really do your best to hold on to that straight line through the hips. We can do this. If you gotta take those breathers, take them. You can put the knees on the floor anytime you want. But when we have 20 seconds left of this plank, I'd love it if everybody tried to keep it up. It's almost time for that. So if you need a break, take it right now. But, oh man, 20 seconds left. You can do it, come on. Hold that plank. We're about to do our last set of 16 push-ups. Eight more seconds. Okay, let's keep this burn going strong. Three, two, one. Push-ups. Let's do them. Time 16. This is the last minute. One, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yes, that's 16 for me. I'm going back into that plank. I'm going to try to hold it right until the end. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, 15 and a half minutes down, less than 30 seconds to go. Man, I'm struggling. Wouldn't have it any other way, though. Fifteen seconds. Here it is. Five. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. Okay. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh, I'm a wreck. Thanks guys so much for, uh, for sticking with me for the whole 16 minutes. If you had to take a break or you couldn't quite finish the whole thing, totally, totally fine. Try it again another day. See, uh, see how it goes on your second try. Um, if anyone has any relatives that are turning 100 or 120, let me know. Maybe we'll throw together a super secret workout for them. But take the rest of the day off. You're fantastic. I'm really tired. Um, and tune in next time. There's always another video coming up soon. You guys are great. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Peace.